Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi in Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge 3 to the power x plus x equal to 30 and I feel a lot of students might be saying hey mister this is like the easiest challenge I've ever seen I can easily solve this challenge by inspection I know this route right here but what about a solution in math we're interested in solution not about inspection method we need to know how can we solve this correctly and step by step so right now let's solve this interesting equation right now together and step by step first of all let's bring this x from our left side to right side let's do this so right here, what do we have? 3 to the power x. 3 to the power x equal to 30 minus x. Okay, this is our first step. Right now, let's change position. It changed nothing. So let's bring this from our right to left side and this from left to right side. It changed nothing because we have equal sign all the time. So let's do this. So this is equal to, so we have 30 minus x at first. And the second step, we have equal to 3 to the power x. It changed nothing. But it helps us a lot in the future, okay? Right now, let's divide both sides by 3 to the power x. Okay, so let's do this. So let, we divide in both sides, this one, this left side and right side, by 3 to the power x. Let's do this. So what do we have as a result? We have 30 minus x. We divide the thing by 3 to the power x on the left side. And we do the same thing with the right side. So 3 to the power x all over 3 to the power x. And right now we can easily cancel this 3 to the x and 3 to the x because it changed nothing for us, it's equal to 1. Okay, so we can easily cancel this one and this one. As a result, we have this expression on the on the left side. We have 30 minus x, 30 minus x over 3 to the power x equal to equal to 1. Okay, really great. What are we going to do next? Let's bring this 3 to the power x from our denominator to our numerator. Okay, so let's do this right now. But uh, you need to know a really great uh, property, a really great rule. If we have 1 over a to the power m, for example, if we bring in this from our denominator to numerator, we can write, we need to write minus right here. So a to the power minus m. So if we bring from denominator to numerator, we need to put minus right here. So let's do this. This is inside parentheses because this is a complicated expression. So we have 30 minus x and times 3 to the power minus x according to this property. 3 to the power minus x equal to equal to 1. Really great. What are we going to do next? Let's multiply both sides. And right now I'm going to explain you what I tried to do right here. I tried to create, create the expression when we can apply Lambert W function. Okay, so what about Lambert W function? Right now I'm going to explain you a little bit about this function. And I know a lot of students don't understand this function. A lot of students don't know how can we apply this. But I'm going to show you a really great approach. So first of all, imagine you have expression like a times e to the power a, something like that. a is whatever you want expression. For example, let's go, let's uh, let's apply, for example, uh, right here as 2 times e to the power 2, something like that. This is our example, this is our basic rule. And if you apply Lambert W function from here, and from here, if this is the same, absolutely, because this is uh, the same expression, but this is an example, yeah? So if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, we have Two. And as a result, we have right here our a. So this is our basic rule. If we have expression like a times e to the power a, if we apply Lambert W function, as a result, we have only our a. So only a. And as a result, right here, 2 times e to the power 2, a equal to 2 right here. So as a result, we have 2 on the right side. Okay, so this is example. This is our, our, our general rule right here. So right now, let's try to create expression that is great to apply Lambert W function. Okay, so let's do this right now. First of all, let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power 30. Let's do this. Just look at this uh, Look at this step. This is a really important moment right now, a really tricky moment. So let's apply both sides by 3 to the power 30. So what do we have right here? 30 minus x times... 3 to the power 30, okay, or, or let's write it as 3 to the power minus x and times 3 to the power 30 and equal to 1 times 3 to the power 30. And a lot of students ask me why I multiplied both sides by this 3 to the power 3 to the power 30. Because if you have the same basis, we can add our powers. And if we add minus x plus 30, or in the same way this is 30 minus x, we will have the same expression as right here, which helps us a lot because we're going to apply Lambert W function, okay? So from here, what do we have right here? We have 30 minus x times 3 to the power 30 minus x, okay? 30 minus x equal to 3 to the power 30, okay? 3 to the power 30 on the right side, 3. And right now, take a look closely what do we have right here. Why I multiplied this expression by 3 to the power 30? Because I wanted to create the same the same power right here at this expression. So according to this Lambert W function, okay? So this expression right now is the same as this expression, okay? 
it looks like a great case to apply lambda double function, but we have three. We don't have like e. We need we need to create this e. So right now let's write this. Uh, instead of this three, let's write e to the power natural log three. So instead of this three, let's write e to the power natural log three. This is the same as right here as three. Right now instead of this three right here, let's write this expression e to the power natural log three. Let's do this. So we have right here. 30 minus x, okay, 30 minus x, times e to the power nature log 3, so we're going to plug in this in e to the power nature log 3 instead of this 3, so e to the power nature log 3, and we erase all of the thing by this 30 minus x, 30 minus x, which is equal to 3 to the power 30, 3 to the power 30, really great. Right now, let's raise this e to the power nature log 3 to this power, so this is our our case, if we have a to the power x raised to the power y, this is equal to a to the power x times y. Okay, and so let's multiply nature log 3 by this expression. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have 30 minus x times e to the power nature log 3 times this expression. Or oh, let's change position. Let's write this one as 30 minus x times nature log 3 times nature log 3 and which is equal to 3 to the power 30. Really great. So I hope you understand this step. We're going to raise this to the power 30 minus x. So we need to multiply right here. Right now, what are we going to do next? Take a look closer right here, the final moment to this uh, explanation. Right here we have e and uh, we have right here lambda w function. Yeah, we have right here e. We have right here e. And we need to have like the same expression before this e, behind this e on this side, and as a power. And if you look closely right here, we have 30 minus x. We have right here 30 minus x, but obviously we have 30 minus x times nature log 3. So it's not the same as right here. And we need to multiply both sides. When we multiply both sides by this nature log 3, we'll have the same expression right here and as a power of e, which really helps us when we apply lambda w function. So let's multiply it both sides. So right here we need to multiply it by nature log 3. Okay, the final step right here. So for here, nature log 3. So 30 minus x and i'm going to plug in this nature log 3 right here in this moment we have all the time multiplication so it changed nothing for us obviously times nature log 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times nature log 3 yeah and equal to 3 to the power 30 times nature log 3 Okay, really great. Maybe a lot, a little bit complicated for everyone, but you are, right now you're going to understand what I'm trying to do. Take a look closer right here. 30 minus x times nature log 3. Let's call this expression as, for example, let's go with, with a. Okay, this are, for example, a. And we have the same expression right here. 30 minus x times nature log 3, which is absolutely the same a. Okay, and right now, a times e to the power a, we had it before. When we apply lambda double function, we have only our a. So right now, let's apply this lambda double function. So lambda double function, so I'm going to write it from a new line. I want you to look at this expression. So we have right here, we apply lambda double function to our left side. We have right here 30 minus x times nature log 3 times e to the power 30 minus x times nature log 3 as a power, okay? And we close the parentheses equal to Lambert W function from our right side, from 3 to the power 30 times nature log 3. Really great. So we apply Lambert W function from left side and to right side. And right now, the final moment. Lambert W function from this expression equal to A. In our case, A, this is this expression, 30 minus x times nature log 3. Okay, this is our A. Okay, A right here, A right here. So as a result, after applying Lambert W function, we have 30 minus x times nature log 3, times nature log, times nature log 3, times nature log 3, which is equal to lambda w function of this expression, 3 to the power 30, times nature log 3. Okay, really great. So after applying lambda w function, we have this expression, which simplifies us a lot, which simplifies us a lot. Right now, what we're going to do next? Just let's rewrite this 3 to the power 30 as 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 27. Okay, so let's do this. So let's leave this uh, left side. So we have 30 minus x times nature log 3, yeah, times nature log 3, equal to lambda w function of... 3 to the power 3, okay, times nature log 3, and times 
3 to the power 27. Okay, and right now, take a look closely what I'm trying to do. Right here, I, want, I split this 3 to the power 30. I write this 3 to the power 30 as 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power to the power 27. Okay, okay, I hope you understand this step. And right now, instead of this 3 to the power 27, I want to write this expression. I want to write this one as e to the power nature log 3, okay, to the power 27. This is absolutely the same thing. 3 to the power 27 and e to the power nature log, nature log 3 to the power 27. So right now, instead of this 3 to the power 27, let's write this expression. Okay, so we have 30 minus x times nature log 3 equal to Lambert W function, 3 cube equal to 27, so we can easily write it as 27, 27 times nature log 3 and times, instead of the 3 to the power 27, I want to write this expression. So instead of this, we write e to the power nature log 3 to the power right here we have 27. Really great. And right now, take a look closely what do we have right here. We have 27 times nature log 3. Okay? And we have the same expression right here, 27 times nature log 3, when we, of course, when we raise this e to the power nature log 3 to the power 27. So let's, right now, let's raise this. So 30 minus x times nature log 3 equal to Lambert W function. We have right here 27 times nature log 3, 27 times nature log 3, times e to the power 27 times nature log 3, 27 times nature log, nature log 3. Okay, really great. And right now, if you look closely, lambda w function of a, this is our a, to times e to the power a, okay, because we have the same expression. This is the same expression, and this is absolutely the same expression. So as a result, lambda w function from here, uh, if you look, for example, a little bit back, where do we have this lambda w function? Oh, when, when we multiply it right here, we have 30 minus x times nature log 3, which is equal to a. And as a result, we have right here only our a. So from here, 30 minus x times nature log 3 equal to lambda w function from this expression equal to only 27 times nature log nature log 3. Right now, the final moment, nature log 3 right here, nature log 3 right here, we can easily cancel this. And as a result, we have our final equation. So we have right here our, our 30 minus x equal to 27. And from here, our x our x equal to equal to 3. We can easily prove this root, we can easily check this root. I feel that I felt that a lot of students find this root by inspection. We can write here 3 cube plus 3 equal to 30, which is absolutely correct thing. But I want to show you the explanation. I want to show you the solution to this challenge. I don't want to, to solve this challenge by inspection. It's a really bad thing. Just agree with me. If you have, for example, this challenge, what do we have in the beginning? We have 3 to the power x time, uh, plus x equal to 30. Just agree with me. When you solve this challenge like that, when you write that from here, x x equal to 3, this is really bad solution. Just look at my explanation to this challenge, a long and complicated, a long and complicated explanation. As you can see, I, I write it in a whole paper right here. I don't have like enough space uh, close to the end of the paper. So as you can see, a long and complicated solution to this challenge. And as you can see, it's not a good thing to solve this challenge by inspection. Just agree with me when you solve this challenge by inspection. It's really a bad thing when you solve this challenge only in two lines. This is a great uh, question to practice your Lambert W function. As you can see, we applied this Lambert W function two times. Okay, the first time right here and the second time right here. So it's really great practice question. So thank you for your time. I hope you understand this explanation. Also write your question down into the comment section if you, if you don't understand it. I try to help everyone. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.